everybody and welcome to a new YouTube video. Today I'm going to teach you how to make two kinds of halters. So let's get started. So first we're going to start off with a rope halter. It's very simple to make. You only need three supplies. So of course you need hot glue or any kind of glue. <laughs> And then you need some rope and a pair of scissors, like pretty much everybody has this in their home. So let's get started. So first you'll need two pieces of thread and they shouldn't be too long because then it's just annoying to work with. And you'll start by tying a knot on both of them like this and then you'll do another knot right next to it when you got your two knots you want to take one piece of thread from each side and just tie a knot on on that but here you want to leave it so it's a little bit of a loop so there is going to be where you attach uh, ropes and stuff so you can lead your horse everywhere. And here you might also want to measure it on the horse that you're making it for. Uh, so that you get it the right size. But you're going to fit around a little bit with that because it can take me some time to get that right. Broad is still here as our model horse so you'll just stand there Estelle and now you take the same two threads that you used for the loop and you tie a knot on them on them <laughs> and make it kind of close to the loop not too far away So now you should have something looking kind of like this. And then you separate the threads and like that. And then you're gonna tie a knot on this side first. Make sure that you have like not a lot of thread left because you just want it. You'll get a better finish that way. And you're not gonna repeat on the other side. Now you're actually gonna put it on the horse to check that it actually fits. Because that's the most important part, that it fits the horse. And then you're gonna see the sides. Okay, they fit, they are good. Now you do a knot on this side. But don't tighten it. Okay. So you got a knot that's not tightened. You pull these two from the other side through the hole and then you tighten the knot so now your halter will be adjustable like that I'm just gonna fiddle a little bit with the knots of camera now take your halter off the horse like that and the two threads that you used to tie the, tie the knot you want to cut them right at the bottom and this is where you'll need the glue cut them right there and you will just put glue on it because else the knot will come up pretty easily and pretty fast and 
like that and now you're basically done with it you can put knots on these two threads too but you'll do one knot like separate them and i'm gonna just do that off camera and show you okay so now we're gonna do the ribbon halter and for that you'll need a couple more things so of course you'll need some scissors and a hot glue gun but you'll also need some ribbon color of your choice of course and then i have this is very hard to show but jump rings six of them i think i have five millimeter so that's everything that you'll need let's get started so like that i just cut the ends and now put it on the horse and it's adjustable so just pull in these two loose threads and it should tighten like that and now you have a finished halter let's move on to the <laughs> ribbon halter so first you'll thread a jump ring on the ribbon and then you're just gonna glue oh that was the jump rings right here on the upper end and then so that you got it shut like that and then you're gonna cut it measure on your horse i have majesty here that's gonna be our model so you just measure on your horse where you want it to be like because this is the nose band so you measure and then you cut roughly always cut a little bit extra but when where you put the ring under the nostril and then you go so that uh, under the other nostril is where you cut. Did that make any sense? And then you'll just repeat the gluing process on the other side. So a dot of glue and then fold over. little bit more glue maybe like like that and then fold over so now we got the nose band and now you'll just take the ribbon and thread it through and repeat so that you'll have kind of it's gonna look like this ouch i got some glue on my fingers but okay and now comes the hard part I usually, I usually put it inside out when I measure on the horse. So you put the ring on the same place and then the other side. And then you want to measure so that it comes above the ring. And there is where you're going to cut and then glue it 
I'm gonna do that off camera, but I wish you all the best of luck because this is hard. Oh, I forgot to mention that you want to put a jump ring on here so that you have somewhere to attach lead ropes and stuff to. And then glue it shut so it's a full ring. I've done everything right so far. This should fit on your horse. And now we're gonna thread it through one of these rings again on the side and then glue it exactly the same way as we have done everything else. I try to don't use a lot of glue because the seams will be a lot cleaner if there's not a lot of glue all over the place. And now you want to measure on your horse again. And you'll just see because this thread will go up the sides so you want to cut a little bit extra because you can always cut away some more if you cut it too long. And yeah. And now you'll repeat this exact same process on the other side. Now you may see that I have already done this to one side, glued a jump ring at the end, but we're just going to repeat that process and do it on the other side. So a little bit of glue and then just glue it. And this kind of halter requires a lot more measuring on your horse than the other kind. So we're gonna measure again and see how everything fits. And it's good. Now you wanna take a thread and you wanna glue it. Stuck to the jump ring still, but you wanna glue it under the horse neck so i'll do that off camera because it's really hard to show and it's the exact same gluing process as all the other things so i'll do that off camera see you when that's done on the side of your choice you want to do two jump rings instead of one when you glue the cheek part because that way the halter will be adjustable. But now you want to take the side that you didn't do two jump rings on. And thread the rope through and glue it the same way as we have glued everything else. And yeah. If my glue gun wants to work with me, yeah. So now we're pretty much done. You can just cut this thread wherever you like and then put a little bit of glue at the end. Of it because that way it won't start fraying and now it's just time to thread it through so I'm gonna show you how to thread it through so first you go to true both of the rings so you thread it 
back down through both of them and then up on only only one of them and now you will have it adjustable and it's very tight so it don't slip that can happen with the thread one but the ribbon one is much more stable and then you're just gonna put it in your stable and you're done thank you everybody for watching and obviously both of these halters work with every kind of lead rope hope you enjoyed the video and subscribe